Um, you found me where I spent the last two years under house arrest. I did a lot of work from here. I think this interview is about the work I did for Alpi in Italy. It was conceived from here. Amazing how much you can do from house arrest. I was asked by uh, this company Alpi, they make boards of timbery, woody things, different veneers, different colors, they're very good at, at doing it. And they asked me to do things using their product. I, I'm not a carpenter, I'm not a craftsman. approached by Alpi to do something that celebrates what they do. So I did it of this structure of wood. It is not unlike things I did in Corten steel before. The extra thing there is the materiality and the different color to each side of the board. So a piece that looks, I'll say, blue from one side, when you go around it looks it started with sketches, modeling, and went to them. I was asked, what's the name of this collection that you're doing for us? Do you want to call it Blame the Tools too? And I thought, I said, no, let's call it If I Were a Carpenter, with a song from the 70s, I think, maybe 60s, I don't know. And I'm very happy with the name. It's not doing something and, and, and veneering it. It is using the product as a raw material for a three-dimensional volume. Just the lettuce, it's not solid. It's not, it's not solid lump and it's not skinned and it's just the skeletal lettuce, the volume. It's all about like, what will happen if I do this? What will happen if I don't do this? It's about doing things that did not exist before I did them. And uh, it's about curiosity. Mm -hmm.